hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. There seems to be some strange and weird phenomenons going on in the lab, and I'm going over today's science file, and today's science file, it says... Is my house haunted? Ooh, that's a spooky question. Well, try this. Because I know I am. You will need your video camera. Okay, so I'm going to be placing cameras in different parts of the lab to find out if we can capture any strange or weird phenomenon. And then I'll come back in the morning to check on the video footage. Now that's some pretty impressive footage. And here's something that's really gonna blow your mind. Nobody was in the lab while those things were recorded. So does that mean that's enough evidence to prove that ghosts are real? Or do you think something else is going on? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The most common reason that lights flicker on and off are old bulbs, shorts in a wire, and failing electrical circuits in your home. Another reason you probably don't think of is that your neighbors could be causing your lights to flicker. You and your neighbors all share the same electrical transformer. So if your neighbors pull an abundant amount of electricity, this can cause a drop in flow to your home, slowing the alternating current enough for you to see your lights flickering. Doors appearing to move all by themselves happens when air pressure is different in two different rooms. If a window or door is open, this causes the air pressure in that room to be lower than the rest of the house. It's this high pressure that pushes on the door, causing the door to slam shut. Sometimes doors open all by themselves without the assistance of air pressure. This is caused by the door's foundation being at an angle due to your home shifting from contraction expansion as well as foundation settling. The door opens because gravity pulls the heavy door downwards. Most of the time when things appear to move all by themselves, it's due to air currents in your home. However, the earth itself can cause things to appear to move all by themselves. Every minute on earth there's 700 earthquakes, where only a tenth of them are actually felt. Since the Earth's crust is always moving, these unnoticeable earthquakes can create enough energy to shift your home's foundation or vibrate your house. Your house then transfers this momentum energy into things to make them look like they're swaying all by themselves. So now you know there's no such thing as ghosts. You know, knowing how these things really happen is why science is so cool.